News 46 is brought to you by J.K. Nelson Law. Call 727-9900 today for your free consultation. If you need a lawyer, you need Nelson. Tonight on News 46, one person is treated for injuries following a structure fire. Hundreds attend Earth Day at Discovery Park. And locals are joining up to try a new approach to fitness. News 46 starts now. You're watching KPVM News 46 with Deanna O'Donnell. And Unet Gentry. News 46, local coverage you can count on. Good evening, it's Tuesday, April 25th, 2017. I'm Deanna O'Donnell. And I'm Unette Gentry for News 46. High winds whipped a small fire out of control today. Neighbors say the homeowner was working on his well when the fire started. Front Valley Fire and Rescue and Nye County Sheriff's deputies were dispatched to a fully engulfed structure fire this afternoon on Stardust. What started out as an introduction to open flame extended to the ground cover and ultimately to a detached garage, which in turn caught the main structure on fire as well as the neighbor's house. All fire personnel were called to the scene for this wind-driven fire. One resident was treated for burns to his feet. All occupants and animals exited the home safely. However, there was some unnecessary delays to the suppression as fire crews were attempting to remove people from the area. The neighbor's home is livable and had only minor damage to their property. The main home, however, is unlivable at this point, according to Fire Chief Scott Lewis. The garage was a complete loss. The fire is being investigated by Pahrump Valley Fire and Rescue. This is Deanna O'Donnell for News 46. And a fight between two brothers resulted in one man being treated at the hospital and the other arrested. Conrad Jimenez has been arrested by the Nye County Sheriff's deputies for domestic battery by strangulation, battery with substantial bodily harm, domestic battery in the second degree, after his brother, Michael Jimenez, was transported to Desert View Hospital with substantial bodily injuries as a result of the two brothers fighting at their location on Appaloosa Lane here in Pahrump. According to Michael, he stated that his brother, Conrad, and him had been in a fight, and Conrad had had struck him in the face and then began strangling him from behind. He said that he was in and out of consciousness during the attack and that all he remembered is that his head was striking and bouncing off the concrete multiple times before his brother ceased the attack. Police say that Michael had to have at least 40 sutures from the hospital and that he had marks consistent with being in a fight, including having a swollen nose, swollen lips, and blood on his face. Police made contact with Comrade and he did confirm that he and his brother Michael were in fact in a fight. According to the Nye County Sheriff's Office declaration of arrest, they determined that Conrad was the primary aggressor in the physical altercation. He was arrested and transported to the Nye County Sheriff's Office Detention Center. This is Deanna O'Donnell for News 46. A release by Valley Electric Association has said that U.S. Senator Dean Heller on Saturday praised efforts by Valley Electric Association to bring high-speed communications to rural areas of western Nevada. Senator Heller was the keynote speaker at the meeting held at the high school. Heller pledged his support and assistance in addressing two issues of particular interest to VEA member owners. The first urging the Trump administration to nominate new members to fill open seats on the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission to complete the sale of VEA's 230 kilovolt transmission system, which has been delayed until the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission has a quorum. Currently, three of the five seats of the commission are vacant. Once the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission approves the transmission sale and the transaction closes, VEA members will receive premium checks for $579. The second item that the Senator Heller promised to do was urge the Bureau of Land Management to sign off on VEA's plans to hang fiber optic cable on existing power poles in order to serve residents of Sandy Valley with high-speed broadband. And stay tuned after this break, this week's court report.